I think our world is more interconnected than ever. And you've seen remarkable changes. You know, of course, been a lot of changes in Latin America over the last 10 years. I think the biggest one is really the growth of the middle class. But so many challenges ahead. Bridges to the hemisphere, relationships in a broad number of ways, both personal, business-wise, civic, uh, and in the arts, is just more crucial than ever. The America Society and Council of the Americas are just two very special organizations founded by David Rockefeller 50 years ago um, with a tradition of bringing private sector leaders together with public sector leaders, thinking about really important issues based on this idea that communicating is the most important thing to get any agenda accomplished. I mean, you really have two two aspects of international relations, government to government and people to people. And uh, ASCOA makes a major contribution to people to people relations throughout the hemisphere. At the end of the day, uh, what we have in common is that we have uh, the same passion, which is to create economic growth and growth in general uh, for the hemisphere, of course, uh, taking into consideration the environment and knowing that our final goal is to improve uh, our communities. It's no longer education. It's a combination of education with vocational training, with lifelong learning, with the necessary investments that will produce productivity, provided the workforce has the necessary skills. La acción colectiva de nosotras las mujeres y por supuesto la acción política es crucial si lo que queremos es acelerar las luchas que aún tenemos pendientes. I'm very proud to belong to the board of the American Society. All the diversity that they are in, in every single issue in the Americas, in the region, in the world, because they, they stand behind every single thing that they, that they do and they promise. If you only have meetings of the private sector, you tend to have sort of group think. If you get people from the public sector, likewise. I think there's a lot to be said for interaction of having uh, teams of people with different perspectives. And that's one of the things that uh, America Society, Council of America provides. One of the things that I'm very proud of and the organization I think should be very proud of is the work that we did on uh, getting uh, the United States to go along with, with NAFTA. I think the council has played a very, very important and impactful role, again, supporting their members, enlightening their members, and frankly, mobilizing members of Congress to help achieve a much deeper understanding. We have transformed ourselves into a hemispheric organization and I consider the ability and our ability to grow and continue to grow in that area to be critical to the future of the America Society and the Council of the Americas. When you become an, uh, an individual member of the Council of the Americas, you really have this access uh, to people in a way that will be very difficult to replicate elsewhere. These are relatively small meetings most of the time. Uh, you get to participate, your issues get to be uh, raised. It's, it's a great way to network and, and learn uh, uh, from other people who are in the region and have similar problems to those you're facing. And if you take a look at the, the participants and the panelists and the speakers, it's a great level. I, I'm here visiting New York to have the chance to talk with all of you and try to convince you of all the opportunities that represents Argentina today. The America Society has become one of the most important forums in New York and therefore in the world. Our gallery has become by far one of the really most important uh, keystones in the world of Latin American art and architecture and design. And what we're doing in music, uh, not just on the premises of the America Society, but all over the city. If you look back at those artists and musicians who were here 30 and 40 years ago, 
They were the avant-garde of the time. Andy Warhol performed here, Marta Menuhin. You can make a persuasive case that being a member is very beneficial from a pure business standpoint, but also it sends the right signal of doing well, but doing good. And continue to be the place where leaders of the hemisphere come and meet, leaders of the private sector, thought leaders, and where we can really focus um, on the issues that are relevant today, the issues that are relevant tomorrow, and the issues that are relevant 50 years in the future.